Cassie and I am back with part 14 of the pomegranates. Now I have to apologise because it has been a really long time since I have shared a part of this and I have missed it while I've been away because I've been away on my honeymoon etc but I'm really happy to be able to see this family again because I have missed them. They are a huge part in my sims play. I love them to bits and I have big plans for this part. So I actually made them a separate venue and if you haven't seen it yet it should be out as a speed build and it's going to be called something like Tasman's camper van, something along those lines. But it is a speed build which I made and for this part I really wanted it to be focused on them all going to that. And the reason is because Jane wants to make a truce between both groups because it started on a rather bad note as she has now joined the fake. She just feels like she doesn't want to lose her friendship with Jessica. And of course, she has no idea that Jessica's been flirting with her boyfriend. She has no idea. And if she knew, I think she'd be devastated and she'd be really upset with Jessica. But she just doesn't know. And actually, at the moment, she's probably feeling sorry for Jessica. She's probably feeling like Jessica might be feeling a little bit left out, that sort of thing. Jessica's got her own problems to worry about because she's going to be inviting some new people into her group, which... I actually moved to the venue, but I just haven't moved into the group yet. I mean, we can we can try to do it. We can invite Matt Starkey. I don't know how, she, how does she know him? He's been in the game for about 10 seconds, honestly. Just before this, that was the moment when I put them in. They haven't even met yet and she already likes them. Well, that's a good sign. And the next one I want her to invite, let's it be a mystery. Let's get around there first. So she's actually gonna go back to her old house. We're gonna get her out of bed and she's going to travel there because in the speed build the creator sim you may have known this but i created three new sims which is matty starkey there is a girl and there is a boy which i can't remember the names of but we're gonna go there and the reason why i created three and there is only one place so somebody is going to get left out and we just don't know who yet it might be one of the old members it might be one of the new members we just have to find out so she's going to travel and she's going to go by herself. I don't think there's anybody that she wants to bring with her. So she's at the old place where she used to live. And we do have the new members here. We do have this beautiful girl called Brielle. And who else? Who is this? Everett Slater. Okay, no wonder I couldn't remember his name. That is so complicated. <laughs> Anyway, who is she going to throw out? That is a very good question. I think based on who she's friends with at the moment, she's good friends with Blondie and Blanca. Okay, maybe not. Maybe she's falling out with Blanca at the moment. Oh, she's feeling quite tense around her. Very embarrassed because she's been caught cheating. This is a little bit awkward. I don't really know how to tackle the situation. I think the best scenario is to really throw Kirsten out the group, but don't you think Kirsten is around to do that? So we're gonna have to wait till she comes back. I don't really wanna do that. Maybe it would make sense to just throw Blanca out. And the reason why is because they're just not getting on and that just happens. So kick out, kick her out from the Gothic nightmares. If she's feeling tense, if she's feeling like she's gonna be a problem, then yeah, that would make sense. And Blanca has been a little bit of an issue, I think from the very start. I've always felt like there's been some tension there with Blanca, and even though we haven't really seen her, she hasn't had much screen time at all. Yeah, it's a little bit awkward. So she's actually gone, but I'm not sure where she's gone. It worked out really nicely that she just disappeared. Oh, after all that, Kirsten was actually over there, so we could have kicked her up the whole time. Oh well, <laughs> so that's a little bit strange. Looks like this guy's making a good impression. This is Matty Starkey though, he's already in the group. And who's this? Everett Slater. What if we gave him a friendly introduction and just invited him in? Because maybe, maybe it's Kirsten Oswald that he has a crush on, I don't know. That would be a heck of a twist. But yeah, so I want Jessica to be able to get on with him and maybe then he would want to join the group. We can't ask him about clubs yet. He doesn't meet the Gothic Nightmares club admission requirements. Oh, of course, we can just delete the club admission requirements. Uh, let's see what you have to have. What do you actually have to have to be in the group? I don't know. That is a very good question. Oh, okay, you have to have the jealous trait. Well, if we get rid of that, then yeah, you don't have to worry about anything. So you can be in our group if you want to be. So she's probably gonna ask him, invite him to the Gothic Nightmares, and I would also like her to invite Brianne. 
because Brienne looks like the sort of girl which Jessica would be interested in. She is just Jessica's type. Honestly, they would be perfect together. Everett has just joined the club, so we do actually have a new member now, and she is ready to ask Brienne. Now, I really hope that Brienne will be able to join the club and she won't turn us down because we haven't really spoken to her that much. Blondie is being a little bit strange. She is being a little bit protective over Jessica. She's getting involved in the conversation. This was supposed to be a private conversation in between Jessica and Brienne and Blondie is getting seriously involved. I didn't even know that you could sit on the mega cooler. I had no idea. But that's amazing. Anyway, she's going to invite her. So I'm hoping that she'll want to join. It'd be really nice if she did. Because that would mean we've got a full club. We've got a whole team of people that Jessica could release to her advantage. She could do lots of things. She could sabotage so many things. So Brianna's joined as well. And that makes a full club. So now that we do have a full house of Gothic Nightmares. And I don't think that we have any more places to fill as of now. She's going to travel back to the house. She's going to travel by herself. We've just arrived back at the house and it's getting pretty late. So I want to get on with this party. Otherwise, it's not going to happen. So it's actually going to be Jane that's going to organise it. And she's going to organise it for the reason that she does just want to call a truce between everybody. She's not going to invite the Gothic Nightmares because she's going to expect Jessica to do that. Jessica is the leader. So as soon as she gets to the venue, then that would be really interesting for her to do that. She's going to invite as many Sims as she can. And the ones that she can't unfortunately invite, she is going to make sure that they can get there one way or another by inviting them manually, maybe. We're going to have to take Miles off again. If we invite Miles separately, that might be a good thing to do. Yeah, let's just do that. So we're going to travel with all those Sims and we are going to go to this club. So we've just arrived at the club hangout and I do want her to invite Miles as well. For the reason that I would love her to become friends with him. And I don't know. I think they had such a connection a few parts ago. That I would just love them to be good friends. So she is going to invite him. I don't know where everybody's going. <laughs> it's really strange how everybody just seems to disappear. But Jessica Mortray is going to get on to inviting her whole club. And they're going to have a gathering here. Oh, they're not available here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get her to invite these people separately. She's going to just invite them all here. The ones that turn up get brownie points. The ones that don't get kicked out. So I think, I think that's all the members. How many members are there? There's, oh my gosh. Who haven't we invited? I don't know. Have we invited Blondie? That is a good point. I don't know where Blondie is. I think we've invited them all. So they should be turning up pretty soon. But anyway, so they do have to focus on their skills a little bit because they are both getting tired. But I would like Jane to go and talk to everybody over here. We just have a group of team bro just sat here. I'm going to get everybody all together. I actually think that this is a really good time for Jessica and Tasman to speak to each other because they don't speak to each other a lot. It's a shame, but it just happens. Some people don't get on and some people do. And I think they're just some of those people. But yeah, she's going to go and sit down. It's going to be a little bit awkward at the beginning, of course, because I don't think that she really likes Tasman. I don't want Jessica to feel like she's too embarrassed to see everybody because at the moment she's feeling really, really humiliated for something that happened when she met with her club. But that's always going to happen when she meets the Gothic Nightmares. Because one way or another, they are always going to find out something about her. She really does need to be more careful. Anyway, everybody is, I guess, teaming up here. I think that Jane wouldn't have been too happy about Jessica sat next to Tommy because she'd probably want to sit there herself. But she's going to talk to Miles over here. Now, Miles isn't part of any groups, but I would actually really like them to be friends. So, yeah, he's just, he's just coming for the sake of it. But I think that he is a really interesting character. I just, I love him. I made him ages ago in a creator sim. And I just think he's such a likable character that I just really wanted him to join in. Especially as I can't imagine him having many friends. Jane's just gone to sleep and I think Miles tried to follow her in here so he could speak to her. But she was asleep by the time he got there. And in the meantime, I would really like Jessica Mortray to go and talk to her gothic nightmare. So maybe she wouldn't be romantic at the start. Maybe she could just be friendly to Brielle and ask her about a day. She's feeling very embarrassed though, and she'd probably want to stay away from Kirsten at this point. She's feeling really insecure. I actually think this is a perfect time to maybe get Jessica Mortray over here. 
and maybe complain about her love life because if she's feeling very embarrassed because she was cheating she might not realize how flirtatious tommy is at the moment but yeah it's looking really nice the venue i love the venue so much and it looks so nice at night as well so i'm very pleased about that but let's see what she's up to so he's feeling extremely extremely flirty but she could hug him what does she want to do she wants to share her insecurities she wants to become flirty um the thing is i don't know whether now it would be because she's genuinely starting to develop feelings for Tommy or whether it is still because she feels angry at Jane for finding new friends. I don't really know. I think it's a mixture of both. I think it's the fact that she is actually finding things in common with Tommy, which she never thought that she would with other people. I'm hoping that Jane won't get upset or anything. I think that loads of things will happen in the future, but right now she does need to get her needs up, so that's really important for her. So I am going to fast forward time a little bit because as frustrating as it is, they do both need to do things. Jane is just getting out of bed, she's just going to go to the toilet, and I would really like her to speak to people. I'd love her to go and speak to Tasman or Courtney. I don't think she's that close with Courtney actually. And I would like them to be. I would actually like the fakes to be very, very close in their friendships. She is closer with Courtney and she doesn't really know Amy that well, which is a little bit of a shame. It is actually really nice to see the two groups blending in together though. I think that it does make things a lot easier, seeing as they have had a few new members like Everett Slater. And Blanca, Blanca Sprague isn't actually part of the group, but she's here anyway, which is really unusual. Yeah, she got kicked out, but maybe we'll actually invite her back in when when we can get more people here. And let's see what else. Do we do we have anything that we can buy at the moment? So the club perk to the group. Let's see if we can buy any club perks. We have 127. I would really like it if they could upgrade the club to two people. So we're going to have to wait till 500 for that. And I think everything else we don't really need at the moment. Sad club vibe. That is a little bit unusual. And you can also get a focus club vibe, a flirty club vibe. And that would mean that at club gatherings, they could be a little bit more flirty. But I think I'd actually prefer them to have more people in the group before that happens because they're not going to have club gatherings very often. And also, it's going to mix things up, maybe not in a good way, if they all flirt with each other because they all fall out when that happens. But anyway, so Jane is up and I would like her to probably say something lovely to Tommy. I think she's feeling happy. Yeah, she's being happy. Tommy's feeling happy as well. So maybe she would blow him a kiss. Yeah, she could do that. I don't know how Jessica would feel about that or whether she would catch on or feel jealous. I can imagine that she would definitely feel very, very jealous, which she's doing now. I do feel quite bad for Jessica in a way because... Oh dear. Oh no, she's gonna fall out with him. I hope they're not gonna fall out. She's feeling really upset that he would do that. But then again, she is the cheaty. So it's not in her place to be angry. She was the one that was doing a terrible thing with Tommy. So that was a little bit out of order for her to slap him. They do have a negative romance bar now, which isn't going to help anybody else. So I'd actually really like those two to at least go over and I don't know. Make it up to each other. I would like her to apologize to him for what she's just done because I don't think that that was a very nice thing for her to do. And also for her to react like that, that would definitely mean that she does care. She really does get jealous. And I don't know. I think that I would like her to go and maybe just speak to him. Um, shared appreciation joke she could because that would definitely be a way that she might be able to make up with him especially if she goes in and says something self-depreciating he might agree with her and yeah they might make up that way it's a little bit awkward because miles is trying to get in here he's trying to get into the bath bless him <laughs> because miles isn't actually in any of these groups so it can make things very difficult for him I would like Jessica to come over as soon as possible though. They're both in the camper van together and she's just had words with Joel as well. But I would actually like her to try and work things out. Not really flirt with him in front of people, but at least leave it on a good note. I would also like the same for Joel, but I don't know if that can happen. I don't know. I don't know how Joel really feels. I actually think that Joel probably cares more about Jessica than Jessica cares about Joel. 
but that is just me interpreting that. I have no idea. I would say that whilst we have seen how Jessica behaves when she gets jealous and angry when Tommy is with Jane, I would say that she probably cares about Tommy more just because of that. But I would really like it. So I'm going to get her back here and maybe she can just brighten his day and, I don't know, try and get this right. It's probably not going to be as right as it should be. To be honest, Tommy seems more bothered about making up with Jessica than he does about seeing Jane. Jane is following the couple round, so yeah, she's trying to make a conscious effort and join in these conversations and she's probably wondering what on earth is going on. It's going to be a very tricky situation. I would like these two to speak to each other as well just before Jessica goes to bed and maybe ask for some reassurance. She is speaking to the three of them, I think. Actually, Jane seems a bit sidetracked now because Miles is here and they get on really, really well together. And she's also feeling flirty. Okay, just to add that to the mix. Because these two are talking, so maybe she would just be friendly to Miles and, I don't know, she'd want to talk to her boyfriend, of course. Okay, Miles is just gone. So yeah, maybe she would. Maybe she would say, actually, Jessica, if you can, you know, leave now, you've got some things to do. You probably need to take a shower, so... Yeah, I want to spend some time with Tommy, etc, etc, so that's what she's going to do there. And Jessica is going to go and take a shower and probably get into bed. And she is going to sleep over here, whilst I would imagine that Jane would want to spend some time with Tommy. It might be a little bit awkward if they were sharing the same tent. I would love to see how the dynamics would work inside there. These two are flirting with each other and they have just gone over to the tent or at least that's where they're heading. And what I'm going to do in the meantime is I'm going to leave this part here. I really hope that you enjoyed it and I will see you all for part 15. Thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you all soon.